I'd just gone travelling to um, Central America for four and a half months. While I was there, I, I just noticed a lot of the children weren't in school and, and, were, and were forced into work quite early on. I mean, from the age of six, seven, sometimes even younger, they were working on the streets. I think I actually saw a film called Blood Diamond, um, which featured um, child soldiers. So I thought it was an interesting subject and, um, and, a, and a really good cause and a really burning issue that needs to be addressed. The first things that I read were that uh, child soldiers are taken to, um, are kidnapped and taken to disused schools and trained to kill and that sort of st stood in my mind so then I began to write the treatment and thought it would be an interesting um, way of provoking a reaction I suppose through familiarity to actually base one of these child soldier training camps inside a British school. One of the first people that I got on board um, was um, my DOP as a director of photography. So the DOP's name was uh, Jonathan Bloom, and he's just such a great character, a very strong character, a very old school um, DOP. So when it came to casting for the film, um, one of the first places I thought of um, to get the leads, uh, lead children was Sylvia Young's theatre school. Um, and I managed to grab, um, get two children from Sylvia Young's, uh, one called Shannon Gaskin, who is an absolute unbelievable talent. Um, after filming with her over two days, so professional. Harriet. What we learn will help us in the future, miss. Yes, good. Again with Alfie Lee, who, who played the, um, the young boy um, who sadly got executed within the film. Um, he was, he was fantastic as well. Um, the thing about Alfie is that he, that he constantly looks scared anyway and constantly looks worried, so was, I think it was quite easy for him, quite easy for him to do. The lead for the PE teacher, I've always had Phil, um, Phil Campbell um, in the back of my mind. I watched a film of his called The Hide. He's just fantastic in it and played a very sort of scary, um, uh, manipulative character and, and it's exactly what I needed in, in the film. This school does not tolerate rule breakers. Examples will be made. And, and the other casting was for the teacher, which was really important. Um, and we went through a few names and um, Kay, Kay Ashfield um, really stood out for me. Um, she, she was the lead in Shaun of the Dead. Um, and she, she has done a lot of comedy, but you can, um, from some of the bits of drama I've seen her in, she, she's a very powerful actress and, um, and she really delivers, and she really delivered on set as well. Good morning, class. The main issue that we had with getting child extras was that um, a lot of um, agencies that we went to we were happy to give us the kids until they read the script and I think some of the parents um, of children that were going to take part really didn't think it would be suitable for them to be running around with guns. <laughs> War Score is my first short film um, and I'm extremely proud of what we've achieved in the, in the sort of time scale um, and for the budget as well. Um, I've worked with an incredible group of people, um, Andy Noble, my producer, Veronica, my crazy Spanish producer who was brought in um, halfway through, did the most amazing job. Jason Oakes, my, my first AD, who, who took the wrath of, of me on set, I think, when times got really stressful. So this is your M4 assault rifle. This issue, this issue just has to stop um, and I'm really hoping War School um, can help in some way to do that.